Hello, my beautiful thinking people, you. Welcome back to Advocation X and your host, Clyde Phillips. Listen, today, it's time for us to have a heart-to-heart, a real, true, heavy heart-to-heart. Now, I can understand if you turn away right now and run the other way because I'm not pulling any punches on this one. This goes for my beautiful thinking people, my 1585ers, and everybody else. But, before I begin, hit the like button, subscribe, become a member, share us with all your friends and family alike. Urgent message to all my beautiful thinking people and all those who are to become. Where do I begin? Is being naive a fault? Think about that carefully. If someone in your midst is just being totally naive and things are happening all around them, is that a fault or is it a virtue? Now, let me give you some context. Okay, not that kind of context. He's adorable, and he just got shaved, so I think he's a little needy right now. Let's just say, you're going through a cave, and the ceiling is covered in stylites. Okay, so you bring your friends with you, and some of them are following your every direction, and some are just naive. Is that a virtue? Is that a fault? Who's going to come out the other end of that cave alive? Hopefully everybody. But if those things start to fall, which ones do you think are not going to make it out? Those that were naive or those that were not? Those that said, listen, I don't want to talk about stylites. They're not my thing, okay? I really don't care. The chances of them doing anything are so slim. I'm not concerned, okay? You say, but, and this would be my instruction. Folks, everybody needs to be concerned. Why? Because if you see one about to fall on your fellow traveler, wouldn't you like to be able to say, look out, duck, be careful, or yell out for, I don't know, something? Would you like to be able to try to save your fellow traveler from impending doom? I don't know about you, but I would. I... That's why I I just cannot go around in this world being naive. I cannot go around in this world being uninformed. And you know what? I can't learn everything. And this is why I rely on you folks, especially my 1585ers. I rely on you guys to set me straight sometimes because I can't know everything. And if I've forgotten something or if I make a mistake somewhere, I want somebody to tell me. I don't want to just sit there assuming that I've said everything correct. If there's something I've said wrong, let me know. If I offend you, let me know. If I don't offend you, let me know. Being naive, you know, folks, that the TV is something you all should turn off. You know that, right? Like, seriously, give me that answer in the in the comments. Do you know that you should not be watching TV, and especially not the news? Did you know that? If you didn't, I'm telling you, that should be your first rule. Don't watch their garbage. Because I'm telling you what they're doing. They're doing this. Can you see my other hand? I didn't think so. Don't look at the shiny objects. That's what they're giving you on TV and the news. The shiny objects. Did you all know that there's a vote going on? In the World Economic Forum and those alike, the corporate oligarchs that believe that they are our leaders, along with the top politicians around the world, have gathered together to finish off a vote. And when they finish off this vote, what they're going to do is they're going to provide all kinds of information that can be relayed to us, the populace, to say, well, look, we went over all of these things. We met on all these issues and we decided that it was best that we go with the general consensus. Now, what's the general consensus for? How about if I told you that they're ready to vote all of your sovereignty away? You know how I keep talking about your rights and that your knowledge and power and all that stuff, right? We never give up. We never give in, but we always keep an open mind because that's how we gather knowledge, which is the only power we'll ever have. Well, if you are naive in this regard, and you are not raising hell, 
You are about to lose all your power, all your sovereignty. Your country will be ruled by the WHO. Oh, you don't know who the WHO is? WHO is the who. WHO is the World Health Organization. They are getting ready to vote themselves the power to override every nation's constitutions, governance, and politicians alike. And guess what they're going to use that power for? For your good, of course. Of course it's for your good. Because they want to make sure that we don't ever have to suffer another pandemic like the one that went by. So, how do you think, or how do you suppose, this vote is going to help them do that? Okay, well, let me tell you. This vote is going to allow them to override anything that you ask for, anything you want, all they have to do is say, we've detected evidence of a pandemic, and that pandemic is dangerous to humanity, and therefore we are taking over your finances, we're taking over your military, we're taking over your police, and we are going to enforce this medication on you, your family, your friends, your co-workers, everybody's going to take it. And you go, yeah, well, I'm just not going to take it. What are they going to do? Force me? Yes. It will give them the powers to mandate any procedures that they wish for your benefit. And you will not have the opportunity to say no. Did you also know that in France right now, they're voting on a bill to extricate your right in France to disagree with anything mandated to be administered to you and the rest of them in France with a penalty of three years in prison for criticizing it. Just for saying, I don't like that idea. I don't think I want to take that mandated drug that you're telling us to take. Three years in prison, go. Yeah, you don't believe me, eh? This is why I tell you to keep an open mind and do your own research. Do your own research. Be informed. Don't be those people who are naive, walking around a cave, not looking out for them or their fellow travelers. Be the one who informs themselves and is able to pass on that information to many others like you or striving to be like you. France is about to start putting people in jail for criticizing their opinion on administering a mandate that could mean lethal drug, anything. I'm not kidding. What if they wanted to gentrify a whole area and get rid of all the inhabitants in that area? And they mandate that this area must take and nobody can speak against it. Because if you do, you go to jail for three years. So if you can't speak against it, you know what's going to happen, right? Every channel, everything you watch is going to be telling you how this is coming your way and it's a great thing for you and it's going to be safe and effective. You're going to take it and God help you. Because no easier way to take over and gentrify an area than to get rid of the inhabitants. Now, I'm not saying there's any conversations in that regard, but why would you need this supreme power? To shut down all dissent. Stop anybody from challenging your directive, your opinion. If your opinion can't stand on its own, it doesn't deserve to be in the conversation. It must have its own legs. Hey, if you agree, you agree. If you don't, I understand. And I just say again, good luck to you. So remember, folks, this vote is going to be going on ex very quickly. Like, very quickly. I believe it's either this month or the beginning of next. If you have not voiced your opinion to your leaders, take me to your leader. Yeah, okay. And I'm sure the person you'll take me to probably can't even hold a candle to Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> There's my leader. Right there. I've taken you to my leader. Folks, don't be naive. Don't be uninformed. Listen to Advocation X. Keep an open mind. Do your own research. 
turn off the boob tube. It is just making everybody complacent. It's confusing everybody to the point where they just say, ah, screw it. We'll see what happens. Don't wait to see what happens because what's coming is not good. And I'm telling you, do the research. WHO, new powers about to be voted in. The papers that were first submitted had, you know, kind of ambiguities and this and that. Well, they were sure to make sure they took out all of those ambiguous terms and made them all firm. As soon as they declare that there is a pandemic on its way, they can invoke all the powers that they're asking for, which means you have no rights. Your country has no rights. It's up to you, folks. But I know my 1585ers are going to be on this, and they're going to spread the word. They're not going to allow their families and friends to sit naive and unsure as to what's going on around them. Okay? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm definitely being interfered with here, and uh, I'm sorry, but I signed over all my rights to these little guys. There's, there's two of them, but the one we're seeing now is Zeus. Folks, please, not for my sake, for yours, for your children, for your grandchildren, for your pets. Do you remember when the last pandemic was going through and they started to blame your pets? That your pets were going to be spreading it to you? Your cats and dogs were going to make you sick? Do you remember in a certain country, I won't mention, where they went around and actually killed people's pets? They took their pets and disposed of them. It's that quick, folks. It's that simple. If you're that naive, and if they can just walk in and tell you what they're going to do, and you do it, well, they're not going to stop there. They won't stop there. And if you think, well, I don't have any pets. Who cares? <laughs> what are you going to do when they come for your firstborn? Are you going to say, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You, you can't do that to me because I supported you when you were taking all the pets. Don't take my firstborn. Psh, there's no more pets to take. We're coming for firstborns now. And what are they going to come for after that? When is it going to be your turn? Folks, stop being naive. I've said this many, many times before to many people in personal conversations. These people who are pulling the strings are the most evil, diabolical people on the earth. But they are also the most brilliant tacticians. They are the most brilliant executioners. Do you know that some of these things are formulated like 10, 20, 30 years in advance? They know the exact progression of any plan they institute. They know what it's going to take to chip away at your resolve bit by bit by bit. They know that it takes one generation to be able to change the course of history. It only takes two generations for you to be forgotten. Do you know that there are so many people that came before you who fought, gave their life, their blood, their sweat, their tears, so you could have the rights that you had recently given up? Take back your power. Yeah, I'm telling you that. Take back your power. Stop being naive. Stop letting these people manipulate us bit by bit, day by day. Stop allowing them to turn us against each other and therefore interfere with our ability to stop the progress of their plans. Once you start doing your own research on these things, I just pray that you come back from the dead. Because right now, as far as being able to help me, or anybody else around you, too many of you are already dead. Folks, please, be like me. Never give up. Never give in. But yes, keep an open mind. Listen to all sides. Because why? That's how you gather knowledge. 
and knowledge gives you the power to make the decisions that will shape your life and the future of my children, my grandchildren, your grandchildren, your children, and the future of the world. With that, I want to just say again, hit the like button, folks. Subscribe. Before... Anyway, just subscribe, become a member, share, share the heck out of every video, especially the ones I put out that have the substance to change the course of history. Present history. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And above all, stay as happy as humanly possible. And until next time, I love you.